I'm Jack. And I'm Lloyd. And we are on tour together. Well, technically, I'm on tour. You're my support act. Same cities, same gigs, same crowd. With the help of Deliveroo, we have decided that whilst on tour, we are going to experience some of the finest cuisine that the British Isles has to offer. I mean, you've made that sound really posh. We're essentially just going to eat, aren't we? Yeah, nice one. Manchester! Oh, no, no. Yes! <laughs> so good to be back. You're the least Manchester person. My hometown, my second hometown. Second hometown. It is. Putney and Manchester. Yes. This is this Talk is my cheese. this is my city, isn't it, Walt? He was here for five minutes as a student. I was not <laughs> here for five minutes. How long were you actually here for? I reckon three or four years. Right, okay. Because I lived here for for, for two, three years. Doing what? Doing a history of art. History of art. Yes. Absolutely. And then I filmed oh, Fresh Meat here, so I came back, which was like my postgrad. <laughs> yeah. I'm... In, in Lashonomics. Oh my God! What did you get in Lashonomics? A first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the absolute. Hey, boy, hey. Boy, boy. <laughs> um, when you were here, we I presume you were still quite posh. Yeah. Nah. Not yeah, really. you was. I wasn't. Yeah, you was, mate. No, I wasn't. Always... I was. I, I slummed it. I slummed it when I was here. I lived a proper student lifestyle. Did I lived you? in Fallowfield. My diet when I was here was atrocious. Did you ever I remember cook? once I made a toasty. We didn't have a toasty maker. So I went into my fridge, and all there was was like a block of cheddar cheese, half of which had molded. So I yeah. cut that bit off and took Ooh, the good it. cheese. Kind of then I opened up a stale. Um, whole meat pita bread. I shoved in some wedges of the cheddar cheese and then I lay like a clean sock over it and I trod on it to try and melt the cheese a bit. <laughs> what? And then that was my cheese toasty. Well, if we want to experience traditional Manchester cuisine, where would, you, where would your go to's be? If, uh, people say the curry mild, but uh, uh, at bars, if you've got a nice curry. I'm yeah. not great with spice, but I actually think I've got better. I've built up a bit more of a tolerance for it over the years. How you, My how... palate has become more Why do you think that dulled, is? I think, just a over the years. Oops. I'm fine I'm fine with spice. I can take it and anything. You get quite bad meat sweats, I would say, when you eat spicy food. But are they bad? A meat sweats bad? Or is no. that just like... No, but I mean, you, you're doing, quite, you get quite like... What? You, visually, it doesn't look great when you've eaten something too spicy. I once uh, cried after a curry. You cried after a curry? Yeah. It, Why? Because it, it had ended. Well, no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is bullying, isn't it? Where's the best place to go for dinner? Dinner or tea or what? what uh, dinner, what? the evening meal. Well, that's tea. Uh, no, that's dinner. No, it was from... Breakfast, lunch, dinner. So what's tea then, Jack? Tea is something that... The butler brings you in the oh, afternoon. My God. What it is? A butler. Is that why you get me to get you tea? Because I'm like your butler on no, tour. No, you're not my butler. I feel like I am sometimes. You feel like my butler. Hundred percent. You don't behave like a butler. What do you mean I don't behave like a butler? Well, a butler is, you know, like is very good at kind of blending into the background. Wow. Like, <laughs> you know, he's wow. respectful. He's deferent. You've seen D Downton Abbey. Yes, but I'm your support act. Does mean I, I literally go and open for you. I tell jokes. I get them warmed up. And then I bring you on. I'm not a butler by trade. Well, comedy butler. What is a, a comedy butler? What's well, a comedy you're butler? You're there to support me. Yeah, in yeah. In the same way a butler yeah, does. Well, I, yeah, I guess. But I mean, I don't obviously wear the butler outfit. I wear my little clothes and I tell the jokes and then I bring you on and. You butler support outfit, them. that is a good idea. What for? No, I'm just saying it's a good idea. Mm. Have you ever done a gig in black tie? <laughs> Singing gig, yeah, but not comedy, because they're two very different things. I've never done, obviously never done a gig in black tie. I'm not a mason. Do masons wear black ties? Don't know. Don't know. I'm not a mason. Hello, I'm Jack here. <laughs> I'm very excited to be at the comedy store for the first time. <laughs> so, my butler. <laughs> that OK, was, that is not. That is a terrible impression. Not camp enough, was it? No, I'll tell you why it's a terrible impression. Also, because the first time I did the comedy store, I did not do it in that voice. Because, as you know, when I started doing oh, yeah. comedy, I didn't talk moody. in this voice because I was embarrassed that I was posh and I didn't think anyone would laugh. So I put <gasps> on a voice. Come on. So my first gig at the comedy store was more like, oh, you right, guys? Yeah, nah, I'm Jack. Uh, I'm from Manchester. 
Oh, my oh, God, you, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's <laughs> awful. My first stuff was really bad. Did you ever go on stage and run out of jokes and then resort to singing and try to just get a cheap round of applause from the audience because you didn't have the jokes and you uh -oh. thought, I'm just... Oh, shit, that's your act now. Oh, right, I'm really? so sorry. Okay, I'm so there. sorry. I was about to go actually I'm and sing I'm so sorry. I hope I run out of material. It's a talent that people need oh, to be okay. aware of. I'm sorry, mate. What was your review from Chortle? Not necessarily stand-up, more a series of party tricks. Voice of an angel, body of a trucker. The guy absolutely hates me. You've set the challenges so far, I'm gonna set the challenge for today, OK? I'll tell you more about it when, no. we, get, when we get to the arena. But this my, my time to shine, baby. And there'll be a forfeit as well. Jacqueline Benedict Whitehall. Yes, my name is Benedict. Very nice name, though, isn't it? Yes, it's a lovely name. So you look very scared. You look I am scared. I don't want to don't... eat anything that's too spicy and Ooh. then go on stage. Why? Can you write... Because oh. if my ass falls out on stage, <laughs> that's, what, that's so... what your plan is, isn't yes, it? Yes, You want that to happen so yes. you can go on and do your shitty Edinburgh show. <laughs> yes, it's not shitty. Four stars, thank you, for the list. Four stars if you combine all the reviews together. That's literally what... Yeah, yeah that's what I'll do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So what we've got here, we've got an array of six curries, a smorgasbord, a spectrum, if you may, of varying different heat. We've got one to six, OK? One, mate, that's basically rice pudding. Two, six, put the loo roll in the fridge, OK? <laughs> All right? And you hate spice. And so this is amazing. How does it work? The challenge is very easy, Jack. There are six curries here. It's Russian roulette. I'm going to blindfold you. You're going to pick three curries. Right? Yep. And you will lose if you say, oh, no, it's too spicy for my little bomb bomb. Or if you reach for the milk, OK? The neutraliser. So, have a look at them. Oh, that looks pretty vicious. That looks like something green. Doesn't. That looks like a nice, light dal. That's the one I want. You're my little dal. No, please don't call me that. Here's the forfeit. If I lose, you choose my intro for you. If you lose, I choose your intro for me. Are you, are you happy with that? Yep, finally. So you're happy going out in full Grimsby Town kit <laughs> with Griffith on the back? Socks, shin pads, and, a cushion, and everything. Cushion up the front. No, cushion up the front. No, no. need to bring that into it, okay? But full Grimsby Town kit in Manchester whilst doing a Manchester accent. You happy? As long as you're happy with that. Okay. Yeah? Sure. And you're happy in the butler outfit? I mean, I'm happy to put her out of it, but you're about to cry, so it's absolutely fine. OK. Oh! Here you go, sir. It's the only time you're going to see me being a butler. You ready? Blindfold me up. Blindfold you. Can you? What do you want to do? Yeah, that. Oh, now I know why you carried this around and with you on tour. Why? For those Tinder girls. Right, edit that out. <laughs> I am not on Tinder. You are? No, I'm not. You've completed it. Beat the boss. OK, can you see? I know what you're doing. Well, and no, I'm just making sure that you can't see. Flicking the V's point blank in front of my face. Okay, I can, so you can see? I can, no, I can just feel your sausage fingers gliding past my nose. They're not sausage fingers, OK? Savloy so, fingers. Right. Jack Whitehall, I'm just going to mix these round. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Uh. OK, there are three. OK, so there are six here. <sighs> They've all been mixed round. Lovely stuff. OK. Uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Whitehall. Are you ready for your first curry? I'm ready. Which, which one do you want to go? Do you want one, two or three? One. OK, that, OK, so here we go. You're going to have to help yeah, me with yeah. that. OK, so that's you, I mean... So just pop your... <laughs> this looks disgusting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's nice, mild, delicious. Bing. No spice at all. Mm. I so, like that one. Yes, that was number. That was essentially the rice pudding. Aha, great. OK, so. Can I have that one again? No, you cannot. OK, one. OK, that was one. That was literally, that is, that is annoying. <coughs> um, front or back, Jack? I'm going to go front. OK. 
One, two, or three? Two. Oh, sorry. Okay, are you ready? But tell me when to dip. Okay, dip now, baby boy. Have I got some on my fork? You have got some on your fork. Just pop it in your gob. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Is that it? Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a creeper as well. It, it really is a creeper. It, like, comes up behind you, doesn't it? Oh. You think you're fine, Wouldn't then. want to meet that on a dark night. No. In an alleyway. No. Oh. Oh. How do you feel? Do you want the some milk? The roof of my mouth is on fire. Uh, do you want some milk? No, 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 I'm just going to let the saliva do its work. The saliva. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh. What have you just done there? Oh. That is oh, you. Oh, can I have some more of the one, the doll? No, that's not how this works. OK. Because that's helping, isn't it? Oh. Do you know what? Yeah. Think I'm out of the woods, big guy. OK, good. High five that. There you go. Where are you? There I am. <laughs> right, OK, Jack, do you want front or back? Back. You're going to go for back? And do you want one, two or three? Let's go three. Mix it up. Yeah, that's the... OK. Oh. OK, um, when you're ready, just a little... You're going to have to put... You're going to have to... Do you want me to... I'll, I'll, I don't mind loading you up. Yeah. Just... Don't be stupid, though. I'm not going to be stupid. Okay. Where's my hand? My your, hand your, your hands at the end of your arm. <laughs> your hands at the end of your arm. Has it? Okay, you ready? Uh. This is really nice. This is like a lamb stew. This is. It's pretty good. Is that it? Lloyd? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was it. That's just, that was just like a Lancashire hot pot. So I take this off? Does that mean you lose? Oh, dear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of the season for of Jack White here. Still up. Piss off, Mike. <laughs> I lost the bet, OK? <laughs> I lost the bet, and uh, he's made me come out here, put on this voice, put on his outfit, be his little butler, and introduce him. Because, uh, no, that's sarcastic, OK? And he's a bully. He bullies me every night at all, and... Uh... Still in a bad mood because he lost your fight against Anthony Joshua. 